Hello, welcome back to the Celebrity Doctor on YouTube. And in today's video, we're gonna be organizing that mess back there. Help me. <laughs> Keep watching. So, we are going to organize and chill. I've got my liquids. And this is where I keep my accessories. Um, I don't, I believe there's some winter accessories in here, so I need to take those out, put those in storage in my closet. I did a video on my office fashion closet where I kind of did a little bootleg remodel. Um, I think I ran out of paint at some point or I just couldn't reach certain areas so when I repainted the closet it's kind of like all the way there but you know it's a Monet looks good from afar um but here desperately needs to be re everything you know I ain't gonna lie I look bad so this is the dressing table that I have um, the accessories in and then these are the storage things that I have underneath I actually have two of these and I will link these below from Ikea now, why this looks so bad is because as a blogger, you know, an influencer, whatever they're calling us these days, I do a lot of content, like shoots and like I'll bulk shoot. So I'll pull a lot of stuff, put it in a bag or a suitcase to go shoot with Rose, AKA Daddy Chic. And sometimes when I get back, I'm good and I put it back in its place where it needs to go just so like stuff like this doesn't happen. But then sometimes life happens and I just kind of throw things or like if I'm looking to put looks together, um, you know, I'll kind of just throw them here thinking I'm going to put them back and then sometimes that doesn't happen. So one of my principal rules of trying to keep organized that I sometimes don't follow myself is everything in its place and a place for everything. So you, you have a place for things and you put it there immediately after you take it um, out of the place. You, you just put it back. So I think we should just get started at the top. So let's do that. All right, so first things first, I think we just make a pile of things. Obviously, I am not going to need, well, the way the weather goes, you never know. But not going outside anyway so these can safely be put away so I'm not gonna be going through where everything is from just because like I'll never get done organizing but if you see something say something no <laughs> if you see something and you're like oh I wonder where she got that from more than likely it's either on my blog or my Instagram so it may take a little scrolling but you know help me help you you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna try and like as certain things come out, maybe you know I'll go through it. Like this hat is one of my favorites. Oh my god, I did not get to wear this not even once this season because it did not get cold enough. This is my below 32 degree Fahrenheit hat that I love. I think I will put the winter items in this bag temporarily just so it's easy for me to just move to the other side of the room and put them in the closet for storage. So in case you're like, you know, Danielle, why you got your makeup on and all of that stuff, I was just on camera filming something for someone else that's gonna come out really soon. We were talking about things you can do while you're, you know, while we're in the situation that we are currently in. And I don't know when it's gonna come out, but make sure, Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm more than likely going to post it like in my stories as a swipe up or something. Also, another fave. Most things that I have are old and not available. This was a Atlantic Pacific times halogen at Nordstrom uh, special. <laughs> I like this to put like, you know, on top of coats. I bought this and have yet to wear it, but I know that there's going to be a time when I'm going to wear this it's like a peplum belt so you can kind of stick it on a dress or on top of a coat or whatever you want to just add that like really cool peplum shape i got this off of etsy so if you go on etsy and just put peplum belt leather peplum belt something similar will pop up it's 
couple of years old though. I have a gazillion turbans. I think I believe I got this off of Etsy. You just put like fancy turban or whatever in Etsy and so many cool things will pop up. Um, but I haven't worn this one yet and this is very wintry. So this I got off of Amazon cause I was like, oh, you know, I need a fur cuff for whatever reason. I haven't worn it yet, but you know, I know it's gonna come in handy at some point, you know? I'm not someone who like, I mean, you may not be able to tell since a lot of things that I've some, I'm like, I haven't worn it yet, but you know, maybe one day I will. You might kind of think like, well, dag, how much stuff you got? I usually purge a lot. I'm really good with not keeping too much stuff in my stash, but stuff like that, I'm like, I can tell like, even if I haven't worn it yet, like I'm gonna wear that. And if it turns out that in a year or two, I actually don't wear it, then at that point I'll be like, all right, girl, you ain't gonna wear that. Ugh, fingerless gloves that I didn't get to. A lot of the stuff I didn't get to wear just because it was not very cold this winter. And then if it was very cold, I was in, in town for it. These fit kind of snug though. I don't know. <laughs> Did I gain weight in my hands? <laughs> I just buy all kinds of like head ties and head pieces and stuff. Um, have not had a chance to wear this yet, but this is a very pretty spring color, so she will get worn. I got from Zara last year. I'm not into it anymore, so I'm gonna donate that. <laughs> I've had this for a while. I do think that it might be time to retire her. <laughs> yeah, donation. This beauty I ordered from one of my favorite black woman owned um, businesses, fashion businesses from Emisia Jamil. I took pictures in this when I was in Paris um, and I kind of, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like how this looks with the outfit that I wore, so I never posted them. Um, but this is a beauty and you can change where the bow goes. So I know this is looking very like Miss Church Lady Ma'am, but trust me, she is a banger. I bought this and I'm thinking about putting it on like Fashion File or, or something like that because while I love it, I don't get much use out of it and I already have that other little Louis Vuitton bag that I use more most often, like my little crossbody. I bought this pre-loved from the um, LX, LXR and Co, I think that's what it's called. You know like little shops that are inside like Century 21. I think um, there are other stores that have them too but I got mine from Century 21 which is not the real estate place but an actual department store chain in the New York, New Jersey area. So I need to sell this. Oh, selling stuff is a lot of hassle. You gotta take pictures, then you gotta write a description, then you got people asking questions, then you gotta ship it. It's a lot. So I only reserve that for like, you know, big ticket items like a Louis Vuitton bag, you know? This beauty, ugh, oh, I got this from Zara. It still has a tag on it. I'm usually not bad like this. This, but this is bad. <laughs> and it's still got the stuffing in it, the original stuffing. Perfect. To be quite honest, uh, I'm not in love. Donate. This I got, I believe I got this when I was in Tulum. It's not gonna fit over <laughs> this. Oh wait, it actually it does. <laughs> this is a keeper for the summer. Should we be able to go outside in the summer? Remember we used to be able to go outside? But you know what, we need to buckle down. We gotta do this, we're in this together. You know, we suffer now so that we can have, you know, less impact on each other, you know? We're in this together apart. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite accessories. This is a peplum African print belt that I got from Etsy. Literally just type in African print peplum belt on Etsy and you know, something will come up because I don't think this seller still has this, but I love, obviously I keep. Now I bought this because like, you know, some this is a collar and sometimes like when you have like a plain jacket or a plain dress or something like that, Sometimes you can just kind of like just, you know, do a little something, something with it because you know the accessories kind of 
elevate things. I worn it yet. That's it's evidenced by the tag still on it. But this is something that I would wear. So, and this was not a recent purchase, but recent enough where, you know, it's not too bad that I have the tag still on it. All right, so every now and again, a brand will send something. I'm like, oh my God, that's so thoughtful. I love that. So um, a brand sent me some like skincare patches and they had uh, one of those like, you know, really cool like illustrators take a picture from my Instagram. So that is actually me on here. And I will put the picture that it's from up here, but isn't that cool? And I'm like, tag, I kind of wish, well, this is durable enough for me to reuse it, but then it's like, I don't want to like reuse it, reuse it because then what if I get dirty and messed up? You know, what about me? <laughs> Speaking of, doesn't this look like it might be me? It's actually not me. <laughs> I just happened to find this on Etsy, you know? And it just happened to look like me and I was like, all right, I'll put it in here. This is some material that I bought when I was in, <laughs> why am I thinking Grenada, not Grenada, Ghana, <laughs> something with a G. When I was in Ghana and I was like, oh, I'm in Ghana, you know, I should buy some fabric or whatever. To be honest, usually when I travel, I try to buy very little and I usually do buy very little. Sometimes I'll pick up like, you know, like a sauce or something like that, just, you know, mad greedy. But I was like, oh, I gotta come back with a fabric. And I just thought this was so pretty. But honestly, like, what am I gonna do with this? I can make a head wrap out of it, but I'm not even into the print like that anymore. So I'm like, uh, I really did not need to buy it. It's a, this is a favorable amount of fabric. I don't know, I'm gonna hold on to it because I know that I've got a friend or a family member or somebody that would love to do something with that. At least now I can see the top of this piece. This piece is something that I got from Ikea. It's got like, you know, all that stuff in there. I need to go through that too. I was about to ask y'all if y'all can see as if this is a live cast. All right, so this is this in here is exactly why I always say, you know, do a purge before you buy anything and why I don't like to have a lot of things. And also why I say, you know, purging helps you to not buy as much because when you realize like, you know, what the hell did I buy all of this crap for? Then you realize, like, you don't need a bunch of crap. Like, I've got so many, like, of these, like, $5 sunglasses from, you know, knockoff sunglasses from places that I don't need. You know, I don't, I don't need all of these. So all of these are going for donation. <laughs> Remember these? Sometimes I, I, I buy things because I have an idea for a shoot because I think it'll look really cool in a picture. But I need to be better about, these are Alexander McQueen that I got from, uh, what do you call it? Century 21. I'm thinking I'm gonna try and sell these on like Fashion File or some eBay. Donation. This, this was a harness that I thought that I was gonna get into. Yeah, donate. These are some Mew Mew shades that I got a couple of years ago. I think these are cool, I'm gonna keep these. And then now I have room to put things that they're not on top. So let me go clean that out and we'll be back.
I remember when I was wearing these and everybody and their mom was like, oh my God, where can I get a turban from? And I'm like, girl, this is the $2 turban from the beauty supply. I had a green one too. Oh, this is something I bought from Etsy. It's like a really fun, like, turban hat. I forget how it even goes. I'm gonna hold on to this, but this is gonna go in the winter. Put away. Another turban. I'm actually gonna donate that. This is from Etsy. I, had, I was very ambitious when I bought this, but donation. Another beauty supply store special that has run its course. I have a gazillion of these kind of things, especially when I wear my natural hair out or if I'm wearing a U-part or something and I don't feel like styling my leave out, this comes in handy, but I have a gazillion of them, so donate. And again, when I was in my turban phase, uh, was this from ASOS? No, I think this was a, another beauty supply store special. This is just absolutely beautiful. I don't think I will ever give this away. This I got from another black woman. Well, not another. This is the same as the purple turban, same company. Amija Janil. I will leave a link to her in the description box. This is just like a gold lame tie, and you can tie it however you want on your head. This is also from shop Amija Jamil. I will leave a link to her store. Some of these pieces might be limited edition, but she's always doing really cool pieces, so check her out. This is a scarf I bought from Express that I tie into a turban, but I believe this has run its course as well, so bye. <laughs> Nosy. Sequin socks that I bought from ASOS, I don't know what in the Michael Jackson. But these are getting donated. This is a fun little like holiday rainbow bag that I got from ASOS. Mm. I feel like I'm over it. Donate. This I will look into, I might sell this. Um, I have a video on a makeup company, well not a makeup company, a brand that I was doing a video with and <laughs> I had to ask them to take the video down because they, oof, long story short, but I was able to get this from a gift card that they gave me. But I'm like, eh, I don't really have a need for this in my wardrobe. And then this is a Gucci bag that I got from the outlet. I think I'm gonna sell that. This is cute because you can do it like a waist bag kind of thing. Um, but I don't need this anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to look into selling this along with my, that other Louis Vuitton bag. I don't know how much I'm into this belt anymore. Which means donate. <laughs> This is a definite donate. I don't even feel like opening it up. This I'm gonna keep. This is a Louis Vuitton um, fanny pack kind of thing. I don't know. I may also sell it at the same on the same token, so I don't know. I do not know. I'll put it on the side. This I'm gonna keep because I just think this is such a cool belt to put over jackets and things. And then I've just made room to put it up here. This is a DVF bag that I bought a while back. I'll see if I can sell it, I don't know. And this is a Steve Madden bag I got from Century 21 that can donate. All right, some more winter accessories. Oh my god, I remember getting this and then I never wore it. Donate. This I will keep because I could use this for travel. Stick this on like a belt loop or something and then have something to keep like 
some money and some like small things. I guess I can stick that there. These are keepers. These are smartphone gloves, but they can go for winter storage, obviously. Ditto these mittens, which I did not get to wear this season because it didn't get cold enough. Or if it did get cold enough, I wasn't outside. <laughs> and then I have these baklavas. Baklava. <laughs> these ski masks. Oh, this one needs to be washed. This one I'm definitely keeping. I'll show you a picture of when I had it on, but it needs to definitely be washed because <laughs> look at all that makeup. So I'll wash that, but I'm keeping it. And then, you know, there's this black one, which you can probably barely see because of the lighting. At donate. All right, so these are things that I'm gonna try and sell online. These are things that are getting donated. And then these are the things that are going for storage for next fall slash winter. All right, so I hadn't done an accessory purge in a long time, so this felt so good. Oh, it just feels like a weight was lifted off. Now, I definitely do clothing purges more often. I do those probably once a season. I will have to come to a point where I'm gonna have to put my winter clothes in storage, but you know, it's not like I'm in a rush to break out my spring clothes because it's not like we can go anywhere for you know the foreseeable future. So that might be down the line. Um, but as I always try to put into these fashion videos, two things. So number one, you all, and I've said this before in other Fashion on Friday videos, although this is not technically a Fashion on Friday, this is just additional bonus content. Um, but typically when I say one, always do a purge before you go shopping for anything new. Now I haven't bought, at least I don't think, I don't think I've bought any new accessories in a while, but you know, having done this purge, I now know what I might need in my closet, what I definitely don't need, and it helps me to not overbuy in the future. So I know for sure, like when it comes to like belts and stuff, like I'm good on belts. I should be good on bags um, because I kind of feel like, I don't know, I feel like my style is still gonna stay in the like very colorful mixing prints kind of realm for a little bit, you know, I might mix in a few neutrals and things like that. But then of course, like, you know, the accessories I have will go with that as well. Um, I've also learned that, you know, sometimes, I don't know, with designer things, sometimes I just want like a little treat. So maybe like a little bag or um, I like I recently got a Gucci brooch. Uh, what else do I like? And like from Louis Vuitton, I like, like the little um, leather bracelets. When it comes to like luxury things, I feel like I just want like little pieces because I do tend to feel like I'll buy a designer bag and then I'll like it, but then like two years later, I'm like, oh, I don't want that. And that to me just seems like such a waste. Like I know I can resell it, but sometimes it's like, uh, I'm slow to resell. So I think I'm gonna chill on, you know, any, like any luxury purchases have to be fully vetted and <laughs> really thought about. And then number two, don't forget about your accessories. Like I know it looks like I got rid of a lot of accessories, but don't forget about the accessories because that is really what adds to your outfits, especially if you're someone who, you know, you wanna maximize what you got in your closet and you're not looking to own a bunch of clothes you know, the accessories can kind of help you take things from, you know, maybe you have an old coat from two years ago, a belt might be something that's gonna really make it look like a brand new piece. So don't forget about the accessories. So leave me a comment below. Have you been doing any kind of closet or any kind of accessory or any kind of reorganization? Let me know in the comments. Um, how was it for you? What was your experience? Let's get a little chitty chatty. Tell me all about that in the comments. Follow me on social. I'll have the links in the description box because when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm elsewhere on the internet, sprinkling cheer everywhere. <laughs> so follow me there, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you know when new videos come out and I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.